In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the real column level security. We have seen many examples or many tutorials on YouTube that is claiming that they have achieved column level security. But we have seen such example with unpivot or tabular editor. If we use those examples, it's not the real column level security. I'm going to show you a different approach, a different way. By using that, you can see the real column level security. To demonstrate the solution, I am going to use a table visual in my canvas. So this is this is a table visual. You can see that, and I am using all these dimensions along with some facts. And I am going to apply the column level security on the dimension columns, not on the fat columns. Yes, you can use it on the fat column as well. But to see the real column level security, I am applying this approach on the dimensions only. Let's start the solution. On my canvas, I have this table visual available and I, I have identified that like as per my business requirement I need to hide few information few dimension column as per user log. for example I see city segment and subcategory I would like to hide them as per the user log these three dimensions to enable this this CLS functionality we are going to use a new uh, feature in Power BI that is called field parameter. So I'll go to model, then parameters, then field parameters. Here I have to tell the system what all dimension I need to use it. So I'll simply use my city. I'll drop it in, in this area, segment and subcategory and simply you can click create so what the system is going to do it's going to create a simple table now what we need to do is in a table visual i'll i'll be simply removing these fields double click here i'll remove setting i'll remove segment and subcategory so after removing these three dimensions, I'll I'm I'll be going to parameter table and taking this parameter column and dropping just after the customer name. You can drop anywhere in your table visual. Now you see that after dropping the parameter column from parameter table, I can see city segment subcategories are visible. Now if I select segment, you can see that it is showing segment only, not city, not subcategory if i select subcategory it is showing me segment and subcategory so we will be using this parameter table to apply our rls in a way using the parameter table we are applying the rls functionality now i do i no longer need this parameter slicer i simply remove this let me take you back to the parameter table so you can see it it has recorded the column name as a record now on this record i will simply apply my rls now i'll go to home modeling managers create then i'll call it segment so here i am simply using a static rls just to show you the functionality now go to parameter table then add filter take parameter and simply type segment and click save or I'll take another example where I'll call it segment and city then I'll go to parameter again in this role I am going to show you two fields at a time I'll take in operator I'll take city comma and segment that's it and click save now after saving this 
Make sure that in your table visual you are using the parameter column from parameter table. If you are not using it, then this functionality will not work. Now, after creating your rules, go to, go to view. And now, if I select segment rule and click OK, now you can see that only segment is visible. The subcategory and your uh, city is not visible to the user. If I just change the rule and make it segment and city, now you can then you will see only city and segment both the columns so this is your column level security i hope you like the video thanks for joining me have a nice day bye